thing is, I didn't even like this dog, but this dog belonged to Bonnie Smith, the apple of my eye. I don't know what it is. Ginger never opens up like this to anyone. Oh, what can I say? I guess I'm just naturally delicious. <laughs> well, that was true. But I wasn't going to take any chances, so earlier that day... Yeah, love makes you a moron. What's with all these flies? Uh, I don't know. I, I gotta go. Ted! You want to turn that off? The hamburgers are almost ready. Yeah, okay. My brother Ted could get smitten too. I remember the night he first saw it on television. The new drive stopper, 3000. It's cutting edge technology, just like the pros use. Beautiful. What can I say, folks? I'm crazy. I'm crazy about selling sports equipment. So come on. Dad, can I please have that mitt for my birthday? I don't see why not. Oh, thanks, Dad. You're the greatest. <laughs> I can't believe that in two short weeks I'm gonna have my brand new microscope. Gotcha! <laughs> but I thought you were gonna give me that mitt. Exactly! I wanted you to think I was just gonna get you some crummy old baseball mitt, and then I turned it around and got you something really special. Happy birthday, son. Now, for years, we had watched our mother react graciously to my father's gifts. <laughs> oh, uh... Baboon piggy bank made out of a coconut. <laughs> Hand carved in the tropics. Oh. Happy anniversary, honey. <laughs> so Ted knew how to act in a manner which would spare my dad's feelings. You got me a stupid microscope? Stupid? This baby has a triocular head, three achromatic objective lenses, and an abbey condenser. Do you know what it can do? I know what it can't do. Catch a baseball. Ted, you're being very rude. Now, not everyone can be as happy about a gift as I was when your father gave me that authentic Mayan skull fragment, and nevertheless, you should say thank you. Fine. Thanks, Dad. Oh. Oh, yeah. You know what? If you hate it that much, we'll just return it and get you your precious mitt. Really? No! Not really! Don't you know why this is so much better than a baseball mitt? I would have killed for this when I was a kid. It unlocks a door to the wonderful world of science. Keep it locked. I hate science. You don't know what you're missing, mister. But I'm going to show you how cool science is. Here, Ted. Open mine. A baboon piggy bank carved out of coconut? Found it in the alley. Can you believe someone just threw that away? Like most of Ted's discards, toys, this peanut butter sandwich, his prom date, Karen Fellini, the microscope ended up mine. And with it, I began a fantastic journey into a world that can only be described as... Gross. I was growing on my doorknob? And apparently doorknobs weren't the only place you would find these tiny, disgusting creatures. They lived on tabletops. <gasps> and peanut butter sandwiches, and the dirtiest thing of all, the human hand. Having fun with the microscope? Oh, you have a little schmutz on your cheek. Ted decided that if he couldn't have the DS-3000, he could at least go to where it lived and stare at it longingly. Later in life, the same behavior would land him a restraining order. Look at it, taunting me with its perfection. Hi, Ted. My God, it's talking to me. No, silly, it's me. My God, Michael's in a sporting goods store. I'm here for the big sale on figure skates. Be honest, does black make me look too threatening? I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. Why don't you do me a favor? I want you to throw me a ball. A formal one or one with costumes? No, a baseball. I want to try out this glove. I don't know. I'm really not much of a ball player. Michael, please. All right. I can't say no to those eyes. Okay. Unfortunately, Michael threw like a girl. And that girl was Helen Keller.
It was the crazy king himself, and he looked a lot meaner in person. It's like this when I got here. What's your name, kid? I didn't do anything wrong. That's why I'm not afraid to tell you. It's Rudy Garland. Smooth. All right, Rudy, you can go. Look, mister. I don't know what kind of friends you have, but my friends don't just bolt the second. Okay, look, I am really sorry. I didn't mean to cause any damage. I really love your store and I was just trying out that mitt. I'll be happy to clean up out there, work it off, do whatever you want. Let me ask you some questions, kid. You ever been in trouble with the law? No, sir. You get good grades? Yes, sir. I scare the crap out of you, right? Absolutely, sir. Good. Got a job for you. A job? Oh my god, I'd love to work here. No, 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 no. Ain't that kind of job. I want you to date my daughter. What? My princess is important to me. I want to be sure she's dating the right kind of fella. There she is right now. <laughs> Whoa. She's gorgeous. What's the catch? There's no catch. Just keep her happy and keep her out of trouble. Oh, and while you're at it, why don't you keep this glove? Seriously? Yeah. Hey, you do know how to treat this little lady, don't you? Yes, sir. I'll rub her with oil, tie her up, stick her under my mattress. You were talking about your daughter, weren't you? Uh huh. Okay. Oliver, what are you doing? You want to take your shoes off before you come in here? I just steam cleaned the carpet. You what? I found strains of bacteria in here you don't even want to think about. Staphylococcus, enterococcus, and yes, even streptococci. Oh, uh, Oliver, since when are you so germ conscious? I mean, two weeks ago, I couldn't get you to stop blowing your nose on the dish towel. Da -ba 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 -ba! Fingers, please. I just pledged. Honey, I'm glad that you decided to tidy up a bit, but I think this microscope thing is giving you a little bit of a complex. I really don't want well, to... Well, I'm done here. I'm going to start on the bathroom. Oliver, wait. M make sure you get behind the toilet, because Grandpa was just here. Dad, how long is this going to take? I got a date. You are not leaving this house until you admit that science is cool. Now, observe. Galileo conducted a famous experiment where he simultaneously dropped two stones, one large and one small, out a window. What do you think he was trying to prove? That he was going to die a virgin? He was trying to prove something about gravity. Now, you may think that the large stone would land first, but you'd be wrong. Now watch and learn. Oh, please, God, help us. Later that night, Ted slipped past the police and went on his date. So, Grace, this is a really nice car. Thanks. It's my third one. I sort of crashed the other two. How did that happen? I don't know. Maybe I just had bad luck. There are so many bad drivers in New York. This one time, this jerk pulls right up to me, and I'm trying to make a left turn from the right. Oh, oh, oh. See what I mean? Hey, you're kind of cute. You know that? Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you should just watch the road. Oh, relax. It's a nice night. The wind's rushing through our hair. <clears throat> yeah, I just don't want anything else rushing through my hair, like the windshield. Hey, why don't you drive? Oh, <laughs> I don't really have my license. Me neither. Mine was revoked two months ago. Wow, we have so much in common. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Uh... doing? I'm washing my hands. Yeah, but you just turned on the sink with your dirty hands. Now you have to turn off the water by touching the dirty faucet, making your hands dirty again. Well, how else am I supposed to turn the water on and off? That's what the surgical gloves are for. Hey, Oliver, don't you think it's going a little too far to have sur- 
How did you get the coffee stains out of the sink? My special combination of Clorox, peroxide, and get this, lemon juice. <gasps> lemon juice, mm -hmm. of course. Okay, all right. You're getting a little crazy, Oliver, all right? No more cleaning. But mom! No, I'm serious. I want you to get your mind on something else about bacteria. Go watch some TV. Scoot. It's his heart. But he's so young. An infection like this can attack even young, healthy tissue. It won't be long before all of his systems are compromised. I love you, doctor. I love you too, nurse. But I'm already married. <gasps> Ted! <laughs> Ted, come on in! Hey, listen. Grace told me what a wonderful time she had with you last night. Yeah, here's the thing. She might be a little too... intense for me. Oh, come on. Look, I know my Grace can be a little wild, but that's why I thought a nice young man like you would be a good influence. I just don't want one of us to get hurt. Or killed. Last night, you played chicken with a tanker, which ran off the road. Now, I didn't hear an explosion, but I was covering my head and screaming, so for all I know... Have you seen the new Myler Maple Pro Stick? Huh? Boy, that's a beauty, isn't she? Look at that. Flame-tempered, power-balanced, light as a feather. Go ahead, feel it. It's breathtaking. Uh-huh. Yeah. I get new equipment in here all the time. Oh, it sure would be handy to have somebody here who could test it for me. And then keep it. I'm sorry I interrupted you. What were you saying about Grace? What's she doing Saturday? Mix Beaker A with Beaker B with Beaker C. And what do we get? Delicious lemonade. So you just spent a half an hour mixing five dollars worth of chemicals to make something you could buy at a stand for five cents. You're missing the whole point. This is way better than anything you could buy at a stand. That's just lemons and water and sugar. This is pure chemicals. Dad, face it. I'm not interested in science. But I love science when I was your age. And you never know when it's going to come in handy. I think if you just give it a chance... Oh. Are you all right? I'm fine. Maybe you shouldn't have drank that stuff. <laughs> Nonsense. Oh, God! There you go. Boy, I'm starving after that long walk. How come you don't want me to drive? I just wanted some fresh air. I like breathing, and I hope to keep on doing it for many years to come. So listen, I was thinking after lunch, maybe we can... What are you doing? What do you mean? <laughs> hey! Sorry. Grace, stop that. Why? This is fun. Control your woman, pal! He's not scared of you. I swear I'm petrified. <laughs> All right, that's it. You're going down! Who's not on parole? Show of hands. <laughs> Not long after that, my mom got a call saying her son was in the hospital. Oh, my God. Dr. Rosenblatt, what's wrong with him? As I keep telling him, he's in perfect health. Yeah, right. Let me see a diploma. Your son walked in here complaining that he felt seriously ill. Mm -hmm. I did a very thorough examination, and I can find absolutely nothing wrong with him. Uh, on Dr. Kildare last night, someone had exactly my symptoms and was diagnosed with Feldspar syndrome. That's not even a real disease. Or maybe it was just another class in medical school that you slept through. $25 for a hospital visit. Oliver, what is the matter with you? According to that so-called doctor, nothing. But it sure sounds like you're with me to me. <gasps> Did you steal that from Dr. Rosenblatt? Give me that. Oliver, you're not ill. No thanks to our janitor. Look at this place. It's crawling with filth. It is not crawling with filth. And you can't get sick from touching an elevator button. It's covered with bacteria. It's not. Oh, yeah? Well, if it's so clean, then why don't you lick it? I'm not licking it. Because you know I'm right. Oh, yeah? Oh, scary. The big bad James are going to get me now. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get horribly ill now. This has nothing to do with me licking the elevator button. Whatever, Mom. Just breathe in the other direction. Oh. 
could you two please keep it down? I'm trying to die here. Jerry, why did you have to give Ted that microscope? I don't know. <laughs> I, uh... But as my father lay there clutching his lemonade ravaged stomach, he suddenly remembered a birthday of his own. Unlike Ted, he really wanted a microscope, but instead his father had gotten him... A gun? Yep, loaded and everything. I wanted a microscope. But this is a gun. A, a gun is so much better than a microscope. But with a microscope, I thought maybe I could find a cure for Scout's rabies. I found a cure. And you're holding it. Well, uh, forgive me, Scout. This third shot should do it. Uh, uh. <laughs> Ted didn't want a microscope. He wanted a baseball glove. And a kid deserves to get what he wants on his birthday. Where are you going? To return this microscope and get Ted whatever gift he wants. Why are my keys soaking in bleach? Hey, King. Can I talk to you for a second? What happened to you? Your daughter. I don't know how to break this to you exactly. But she's crazy with a capital K. Oh, come on. I know Grace can be a handful. Handful? Last time I saw her, she was in the back of Mad Dog's chopper trying to get him to jump through the doors of a moving freight car. Have you seen the new Tri-Density Ferrari bedding helmet? No, but I could have used one about an hour ago. Look, I don't want any more stuff, and I don't want to see your daughter anymore. I'm sorry. I just like living too much. <laughs> then getting on my bad side might not be too wise. King, listen. I'm not right for Grace. We don't have anything in common. All we ever do is make out. What? Uh, but make out, I mean, I mean, we talk. I asked you to take her out, not put your filthy hands all over her. And how did you have? You want to dump my little princess like yesterday's trash? Highness, please. <laughs> I really respect you, and I appreciate everything you've given me. I think we should focus on that, and that will face I may or may not have gotten to with your daughter. Ah! Ginger, Ginger, Ginger. Bonnie? Hey. Bonnie, what happened? It's Ginger. She chased a rat into the sewer pipe. Oh. Now she won't come. I'm afraid she's gonna get bitten. I know she really likes you, Oliver. Will you go get her? What was it gonna be? Germ-free loneliness or dirty, dirty love? And I didn't, until I developed a persistent staph infection. But it was worth it. King, please stop! You're acting crazy! Where do you think my daughter gets it from, son? This is cool. What was that maniac doing? Are you all right? I am now. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome, son. Now, let's wipe the blood off this thing and return it for something you want. Shortly after that, Crazy King's closed. The word was out that the king actually was crazy and people didn't want to go to his store anymore. Which, I guess, just goes to show that nothing, even a king, looks all that great once it's been under a microscope.